This account challenge is called level order traversal. So a user requested last week that I make graph theory videos, and this is on my list. But in order to be comfortable with graphs, it's also important to be familiar with level order traversal. This can also be called breadth first traversal. It's different from depth first traversal. You might have seen me use pre order traversal, in order traversal, and post order traversal. And these were used to traverse some trees. So instead of traversing the nodes vertically, whatever the logic is, this time around, we're going to traverse them by level. We're going to visit this node first. We will explore it. We will visit these nodes. And then we will also visit these nodes. So we're going to traverse our tree horizontally. This here is my solution. So it's called level order. It takes in a node pointer called root. And for safety in this first line, I'm checking if my root is empty, then I can return. I'm not returning anything because this is a void function. So I don't need to return anything. I can simply have the keyword return. Now it's common for breadth first traversal or level order traversal to use a queue. So a queue is a data structure in C++. Normally you would need to add queue at the top of your program, but we don't need to do that because we already have this bits and SCD C++ header. So we can ignore that because it's already included. And this is going to be a queue of node pointers. Now that we know that our root is not null, we can push our root to the queue first. So it's going to be at the top of our queue. And then we can go ahead and enter this while loop. So long as the queue is not empty, we want to capture whatever is at the front. We're going to capture that in a node pointer. And I'm going to call that node. And then we're going to print the data from that node. Um, in this challenge, they expect us to print the data from the nodes with spaces. So that's why I have this space here. And then we're going to pop it off our queue. So when we use the pop method for queues, it means we are removing whatever is at the front of the queue. If the node that we've just processed has a left child or a right child right here, then we're going to push this inside of our queue. And then we are going to enter our next iteration and verify is our list empty. And if it's not, then we're going to repeat that process all over again. So at first, one will be the node that we're going to visit, and we will add this left child and this right child to our queue. Then we will process two. So we'll visit two and we'll add four and five to the queue. When we remove two from our queue, three is going to be the one at the top because one was removed when we're done. So after we remove two, three is going to be the one to process. And we repeat that until we are done with the tree. It's going to be one visited first, then two and three, and then four, five, six, seven. In the future, I might have some better visualization for that, but for now you can just go ahead, copy my code. Let's run it now. And we should be able to pass the test cases. So let's submit it right now. And we've passed everything. So one last note here, when I'm verifying if the left node or the right node is not null, I am able to add them to my queue just like that. Because if you scroll up here, the member attributes left and right are both node pointers. So it's valid for me to add them to my queue just like that, because my queue is a queue of node pointers. Anyway, that's it guys for this Akarang challenge. Stay tuned for more complex algorithms in the future. So if you like my solution, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, and I'll catch you next time.